Pin and Teller Fool Us. It's one of my favorite shows to watch, especially being a magician myself. It's always fun when you see magicians trying to fool other magicians, Penn and Teller in this case, in front of a live audience over at the Rio where they film the show. Uh, if you've never seen this show, it comes on the CW Network. It also streams online, and I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. That's right, everybody. This week, we've got Joe Monty, my friend originally from New York City who moved to LA many moons ago. Joe and I first met 15, 16 years ago when we worked together on the Chris Angel Mind Freak television series where Joe was a magic producer, I was a magic consultant, and we worked for five or six years together, a lot of long days on the TV and production side of things, also on the creative side with the magic behind the scenes, um, and a lot of great memories were made with Joe. And today, we're gonna bring you Joe's act from Fullus on the latest episode. Joe went up against Penn and Teller trying to pull one over, trying to trick the boys. And we're gonna find out now whether he did that or not. Will Joe Monty get the fullest trophy? Let's find out. I learned magic on the streets of New York. I'm talking about the guys who did the three card Monty. This was magic in the wild. Expert sleight of hand. When you're trying to rip somebody off, no room for failure, you, you can get killed. You had to be perfect. It was such an education. These guys were amazing at what they did. In my life, I've had money, and I've had none. And I came up with this invention, could have made millions. But in the middle of the deal, the company went bankrupt. That was the, probably the worst day in my life. But as life would have it, I landed a job as a network television producer. Life was great, again. And then out of nowhere, my life collapsed. I got hit by a car. My wife found someone else, and I found myself a single dad, no money. My daughter, nowhere to go, and living in an RV. It ain't over until it's over. This is like my 15th round, you know? I think the only way for me to possibly be in the game here is to go back to my roots. It, it's those formative days of watching those guys on the street. I want to bring that street to Penn and Teller. Look at this entire audience to scam. I mean, to entertain. <laughs> by the way, by a show of applause, how many people here have ever been to New York City? Where I'm from. And how many of you have heard of that game or familiar with the game Three Card Monty where they throw the three cards around? Cool, cool. You're in the right place. Those street scoundrels, uh, they use sleight of hand uh, magicians uh, to steal your money. Okay, uh, so tonight I want to educate you on why you should never play that game. But there are two people here right now who actually, in a Run DMC video, very famous video called Tricky, they were those street scoundrels. And those two brilliant street scoundrels are Mr. Penn and Teller, right here. <laughs> so, if I may, I'd I like to uh, show you the game, show you why you should never play. Uh, and you're a big audience, so I don't want to use those little tiny cards. You can't see them. So, so I, I did something special for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got the really big cards. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? I feel actual size now. <laughs> diamonds is the money. Two and three, only there to confuse you. Diamonds, follow the ace of diamonds. That's the money card. It's very simple. These street scammers are on the street. They mix the cards up like this, like that, and like this. And then they do something called the Monty Move. I shall show you the Monty Move. It's like this. <clears throat> Watch the ace. Hoop, hoop. That was it. <laughs> did you see you put the ace there? <laughs> you did? No, you see, that's a two. See, the ace is over there. Wait, did I move too fast? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm from New York. I talk too fast, I move too fast. I'll, I'll slow it down. <laughs> All right, one more time, here we go. So, they mix them like this, like that, like this, like that again. There's a reason why you're missing it. So please watch the Monty move. Here we go. Oh, you know, I'll make, I'll make it easy. Is that better? Okay, look, let me stick it a little bit more. Look how high that card is right there. So watch the ace. I'm gonna place it right here in my pants, okay? Just like that. Okay, did you see me put the ace there? 
You, what do you mean no? Look, I really did. Nicole, come on, isn't that great? I love that. Okay, here's the answer. I know most of you probably know, because I got three cards, it's three card Monty. Uh, if I had two cards, it'd be easier. So, see, sometimes instead of moving one to the bottom, I, I move two. That's called the trouble lift. If you miss it, you're in trouble. So if I've got three cards, there's no way that you might know the exact order of the cards. So, to be fair, I promise that would be fair. Okay, I'll just use two cards, make it the two card Monty. So here we go. Where's the ace, top or bottom? Y yeah, because I didn't do anything yet. Okay, <laughs> so I need to do a Monty move, like this. Where's the ace, top or bottom? No, it's not here at all. <laughs> no, no I, I, I need it. Look, it really, it's not here at all. Yes, look, it's way over here. That, thank you, is known as one, two, and three card Joe Monty. Thank you very much. different is street magic in New York City in comparison to TV magic here in Las Vegas? Uh, they won't beat me up if I cheat them. They oh. might. Oh, they, might. <laughs> they might if you fool You're them. You're bigger than I <laughs> Have you seen these shows? Oh. Um, okay, I need so, those. <laughs> that beautiful there... outfit. Look Thank at this you. outfit. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I think we look pretty amazing together. Yeah, yeah. Um, but your shoes might be... <laughs> Your shoes are just slightly cooler than mine. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see if your Monty moves have earned you a full ass trophy. Okay. Boys, be nice to him. I like him. Okay, okay he'll be nice. But, you know, it's only so nice you can be to a guy who's doing three-card Monty. There is, a, there is a limit to how nice you can be. You know that, Joe. Mm -hmm. And you also know, which is, makes it so gutsy that you came out here, you know that we know a lot about three-card Monty. Mm -hmm. And you also may not know, we also did public service announcements in New York on TV to try to stop people from getting, getting scammed. Oh, I, I don't... So we know well... a lot about this. So I'm going to say it's a wonderful routine and we really love you and love your whole story and love the whole presentation. But I got to say, we know the Achilles heel of this particular trick. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you something, mm -hmm. and I want you to answer us honestly. And that is, if we were to walk up there, could we examine those three cards? Yes. Don't do a thing. Don't move. Because you yeah. are a scammer and we don't trust you. Stand I got him. right I got him. there. I got, him. I got him. Take your left hand, move it closer to Brooke. Closer to Brooke. I'll hold it. Keep that right hand right there. Okay. Some, we are get coming some up. Cards. We are coming up. Switch the cards. We're not letting you do anything <laughs> sneaky. Guys, I will. this is a little aggressive. <laughs> okay. Jeez. <laughs> I worked hard. Okay, you fool us. And congratulations to Joe. Joe Monty, you did it, my friend. You pulled one over, you got the boys, and now you got the trophy. Congratulations. You know, as always, our friends, when they do big things, when they have accomplishments, we should always shout it from the rooftops. And that's what I'm doing this week for Joe Monty because you freaking did it. Truth be told, I was there with Joe and our other friend, Joe Devlin, at the Rio a couple days before they filmed this. I knew they were working hard, but you never know if your hard work will pay off and fool, pin, and teller. 
And if you're one of those producers from Fullest, Joe didn't say a word to me. I know they can't say anything about whether they fooled the boys or not. He didn't tell me. I found out when the rest of the world did if he fooled Penn and Teller. Keeping secrets is not always the easiest thing for magicians, but Joe did a good job here. And for you, if you are a fan of magic and you want to watch even more Fool Us, the link is in the description below. It'll take you over to the CW website. They've got past episodes, past seasons. Uh, Fool Us is in its 10th season now, so there's a lot to watch. I'm warning you now, you're going to go down the rabbit hole. There's a lot of magicians to watch. Some of them come back multiple times trying to fool them again and again. At the end of the day, it's just a whole lot of fun. So if you're looking for some really good magic to watch, check out that link below right now. Well, my name is Luke Dancy, bringing you more and more all things magic each week. And if you, my friends, are interested in magic, if you're a hobbyist, if you're a pro, we are proud to supply you only with the best magic tricks over at allthingsmagic.com. You also get your magic fix with news and reviews and other fun stuff over there. So be sure to check us out. Uh, we just love magic and we'd love for you to have a look. Maybe you'll end up loving this stuff too. And of course, happy holidays to all of our friends out there. I know this is a very busy time for magicians and their gigs and performing. A lot of people, it's like back to back to back to back traveling, performing, and it's exhausting, but enjoy the ride and crush those gigs, my magic friends. I will see you back very soon for even more All Things Magic. Thanks for dropping by. See ya.